There are many people who don't believe aliens exist, but there are just as many who do think there are other life forms out there. And then there are some folks who feel not only are aliens real, but they're actually living on Earth among us. Fiction or fact, they say the truth is out there, but it might be here already. 15 alien looking things that exist in real life. The unexplained monoliths. Strange metal monoliths are popping up around the globe in California, Romania, the Isle of Wight, the Netherlands, Germany, and Spain. They didn't all appear at once, but it wasn't long before they started popping up like acne once the first was discovered. What are these alien looking monoliths? Are they indeed extraterrestrial or are they some worldwide art project? Needless to say, social media has exploded with selfies. After some more in-depth investigation, they do indeed appear to be man-made, but to who was erecting these monoliths is still unknown. Some have even claimed that it's the latest art project from famed street artist Banksy. It's also very reminiscent of the monolith from Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey. We don't know who placed a vast majority of these things, but more importantly, we don't know what provoked them or their purpose. They've inherited the same cryptic connotations established by Kubrick's film in which they appear at crucial points in human history. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Have you ever wondered if we're alone in the universe? Many people believe that aliens have already visited our planet. Many people seem to be capturing strange and phenomenal evidence of these extraterrestrial beings on their home surveillance cameras and cell phones too. It might sound a little out there, but some recent security footage could be proof of it. It seems to capture some kind of entity moving amongst the trees. From a description like that, it would be easy to assume the capture was created with some clever editing. But as far as we know, these alien vibes are authentic. But what do you think? Comment below and make sure to include the hashtag sweet topic. Unidentified star jelly. Large piles of goo have been popping up around Scotland, not just in remote areas either. Residents have been finding these gelatinous substance around these porches and wooded areas and even stuck in the trees and bushes. One can see the grayish white globs of a gelatinous substance is something odd. Some of the citizens even claim to have found multicolored ones. According to locals, after the goo falls, it evaporates quickly. So little evidence is left over. Whenever a giant mystery surrounds a large area and science can do nothing to explain, folklore is often used as a substitution. According to this lore, these blobs fall from stars during the many meteor showers observed in the Scotland night sky. Though they've never been proven and it's highly unlikely, the mystery is blanketing. Scotland, a place with a layer of mystery and intrigue. Has anyone tried spreading it on their morning toast? Maybe star jelly tastes terrific. Or maybe it's poisonous. On second thoughts, don't taste it. Oumuamua, pronounced Oumuamua, meaning the first time visitor from far away in Hawaiian. This asteroid is the first interstellar visitor ever discovered, and it was just a few years ago, in 2017, that the discovery was made. This asteroid has been throwing science gurus for a loop ever since. At first, it was thought to be a comet, but as it made its way closer and passed over our sun, no comet activity was observed, which changed its classification to an asteroid. It later accelerated shortly after to be reclassified as a comet. This object is simply a piece of another solar system. With so many twists and turns, it seems likely neither of those things is correct. It appears to be like all the rest, a little white blip amongst many more white blips. I'm happy someone out there has the know-how to decode it. It's been suspected that the distant space-traveling object has been floating in the Milky Way for some time now, and only recently made its way close enough for our observation. An exciting notion either way. Speculation has grown on whether the object is extraterrestrial due to its strange acceleration and deceleration activity. <laughs> Siphonophores. I wish this animal did not exist here on Earth, but it is what it is. These terrifying gelatinous creatures can grow up to a whopping 100 feet long, making them some of the longest critters on the planet. 
What makes these creatures so interesting is that instead of growing as a single body like every other animal, siphonophores clone themselves thousands of times into a half dozen different types of specialized clone bodies, all tied together to work as a team, and an extremely deadly one at that. Hunting is conducted by the dangling tentacles that are laced with potent neurotoxins. When small fish or shrimp wander its curtain of death, there is a little hope for escape. The prey is enveloped by the body, digested by use of decomposition, and dispersed to the rest of the body through the stem, or vein system. This nutrition is vital for the propulsion limbs at the front of the critter, which sucks waters in and squirts it out again to get the siphonophore moving. Hence, its name. <laughs> Tube affects worms' life forms. The intricate tunnels that run beneath the ground are often full of mystery and terror. Tales from it to Ninja Turtles give us images of what's possible down there, but what of it is true? Well, unless you're down there working them, it probably will remain a mystery. It's possible that unknown creatures wander the unexplored tunnels and use them to get around unseen. Sure, the haunting video of this sewer slime monster hit 4 million views in a few days. You can't argue with the footage. That movement can hardly be described as anything other than living motion. It's reminiscent of a heart beating. The footage sparked a comprehensive exploration of the mysterious creature. The real terror of it is that the monster seems to be spreading and growing on the walls, much like an infection and seemingly ripped from the film reels of paranormal cinema. I mean, what are those hideous growths? The growth has become so bad it's even begun to emerge in people's homes. Turns out the mysterious monster is really a collection of disgusting worms named Tubifex worms or sludge worms. It's still a problem and it's still disgusting and it's still horror. I think the term monster is all in how you define it. For me, this definitely fits the bill. The Pentagon's Black Vault The truth has finally been released. Just recently, the CIA released thousands of documents of UFO and UAPs dating as far back as the 1970s, and you can find it all on the Black Vault website. Needless to say, there's a ton to go through and researchers and conspiracy theorists alike have been poring over the documents, photographs, and film since their release. Like said earlier, this information dates as far back as the 70s, so there's an extensive amount of work to be done. Many of the documents included in the Black Vault archive describe UFO sightings around the globe. This one from the Soviet Union is of particular intrigue, an article from Moscow's True newspaper dated January 30, 1985, tells of how an airline crew from Rostov, Russia to Tallinn, Estonia came upon what they described to be a UFO not far from their destination at about 4 a.m. in the dark of the early morning. The article recounts the incident from the crew's perspective, adding to the drama that it imbued within their tale. From the article, in the capital's words, he noticed a large star that was not flickering. But this is no star. This yellow speck the size of a five kopeck coin stretched out along the edges and was syndrilical and in our atmosphere. Sea Sapphires by far, this is one of the most bizarre and fascinating creatures I've ever had the pleasure of researching. It looks alien, it can turn itself invisible, and move with incredible speed. Sea sapphires have been described as the most beautiful animal you've never seen. This tiny little guy is a crustacean with a neat magic trick that experts have been dying to understand. The sea sapphire can reflect light in a dazzling array of hues by alternating layers of hexagonal guinine crystals and cytoplasm on its back. Different species shimmer in different colors but are mostly defined by the distance between the crystals and the angle at which light hits them. In blue sea sapphires, the distance between the crystals is about the same as the blue light wavelength, so the animals appear blue. If the animal tilts, causing the light to reflect as ultraviolet, they become invisible to the naked human eye. Experts believe that they can create invisibility technology with further study, but they're too rare. <laughs> Nan Madal, The Impossible City If anyone is familiar with Lovecraft literature, The Impossible City may sound familiar. For those unaware, in his tales, there were ancient old gods that built cities with mathematical impossibility in terms of human comprehension. 
Nan Madal is said to be the location that inspired Lovecraft with this idea. On the remote Micronesian island lies the ruins of a once great city made of monolithic stones, upon which represents the remains of the megalithic architecture of unparalleled complexity unbeknown to mankind even today. In the Lovecraft tales, the city goes by the name of Rilea. Experts have discovered evidence within Nan Madal pointing at human life as far back as 4 to 6 BC. Who were these ancient people? How did they create such impossible structures at such an early age? The mystery goes on and on when it comes to Nan Madal. The USS Nimitz The aircraft carrier the USS Nimitz has captured some fascinating objects in the sky. They can be described as none other than unidentified flying objects. By the sound of the pilot's voices as he records the craft's swift movement, We're all going against the wind. The wind's 120 knots to the west. You can tell this recording is indeed valid. The military even came out and called them precisely what they are, but made sure to avoid the novel term UFO. Instead, they referred to them as unidentified aerial phenomena. Yeah, I know, big difference. Leave it to the military to create some acronym that already exists just to steer public perception. Annoying, kinda. Just can't get over the footage. It's living proof that something was in the sky, something faster than anything we've ever seen and shaped even stranger. Take a look at the footage for yourself and see. What'd you think? If even the government is claiming it's valid and unknowing of its existence, what in the world or out of this world can it be? We may never know. Until the day that we do, we'll just keep watching this video in amazement. To make the mystery even stranger, the object never appeared on any scanners, just sight sensors. Blue Glaucus Atlanticus These terrible little demons can absorb the venom from its preferred meal and redirect it into an even more potent sting. This fantastical looking creature is actually a slug and one of the deadliest in the world. You can find them in the water or in the beaches feeding off the gelatinous remains of jellyfish. If you've never been walking the coast barefoot and stepped on a jelly, it's an indescribable pain, depending on the size and shape of the jelly, of course. On a day where many jellyfish are scattered about the beaches, you may find these striking blue slugs feasting upon them. The jellyfish venom is harmless to them and is stored as a weapon of their own. You heard that right. These guys can store the venom and deliver a sting 10 times more potent than its original delivery. That is life-threatening, even with some mild venoms. Once again, their majestic appearance tells of wonder and fantasy, hence the dragon in its name. Also implied by its name is a sense of danger and searing pain. Right by all accounts when it comes to this little demon of the sea. Either that or no one has tried throwing a pokeball at it to tame the wild blue dragon. The Andril Anemone Thousands, if not millions, of small sea anemones were discovered burrowed into the underside of an ice shelf, their tentacles protruding from the frigid waters like flowers through the earth. It's a gorgeous display of mother nature at its finest. Though other sea anemones have been found in Antarctica, the newly discovered species is the first known to thrive in ice. They also live upside down, hanging from the ice, compared to other sea anemones that live on the sea floor. This bodes well for experts who were worried about the dwindling number of sea anemones. If plant life can adapt and even thrive in this harsh environment, perhaps the animals that rely on them can do so equally. The research mission in which these creatures were discovered was to learn more about the ocean currents beneath the ice shelf. They didn't expect to discover any organisms living in the ice and undoubtedly not an entirely new species. <coughs> Axolotl Regeneration the aquatic salamander's genome is one of the most complex sets of genetic instructions in the world. The axolotl has roots in the Aztec mythology as the god axolotl for whom the animal is transformed. While many mythological features turn into animals, they aren't often encouraged to eat as they were with the axolotl. Eating the salamander was said to provide luck and good health. Axolotls are amazing creatures. They're neotenic meaning the amphibians generally do not fully mature like other species of salamander. Instead, they retain their gills and live out their lives underwater as a sort of juvenile. On rare occasions, or when stimulated in the lab, an axolotl will go through metamorphosis and develop lungs to replace its gills. Still, the vast majority in the wild stay young. 
I mean, who wouldn't choose that if it was an option? These creatures might be immortal. Experts are trying to reverse engineer their remarkable age-defying regeneration. The Betts Mystery Sphere Three Betts family members were walking in the woods around their property of Jacksonville's Fort George Island when they discovered something that would change their lives forever. There, buried beneath the wood floor's foliage, was a strange metallic sphere about the size of a bowling ball. Thinking it odd enough to make a good souvenir, they brought the ball home. According to the family, something strange started happening. It started humming. It wasn't long until other unusual properties started materializing as well, from rolling on its own to suddenly changing direction. To this day, the sphere still has baffled any who have studied it and forever goes into history known as the Betts Sphere. The Magna Pena Squid There's no wonder these squid are the subject of mythical lore and legend. The big fin squid looks more like a haunting ghost than any type of sea animal. It's like one of the walking monsters from War of the Worlds, which only adds to the terror these things evoke. The Big Fin Squid is its nickname, and its actual name is the Magna Pinna. As you can see, it has long fins, which take up 90% of its body length. The largest ever seen have been 10 feet long. Now that's a sea monster, all right. Look at the tendrils on the body of this thing. The tendrils can grow to massive lengths. It floats about the water like a jellyfish, lowering its tendrils deep into the water. Prey doesn't see the squid, but they see the tendrils. It's like the squid has fishing poles attached to its tentacles. When it swims by or takes a nibble, the squid strikes. These squid are extremely rare. They're even rarer while hunting, which is actually happening in the video you see before you. The footage was taken from an underwater, offshore shell oil station, where the squid can be seen in all its glory. The workers that live on the rig claim they've yet to see another. It very well could be one of the last times we see the squid for a very long time. The Montauk Monster If you've never heard of the Montauk Monster, you're in for a real treat. If you're not into surprises, maybe you're into mysteries. Either way, this one has it all. The Montauk Monster was first discovered upon the sandy beaches of Ditch Plains in July of 2008. The site usually is host to many surfers and beachgoers. Three women who have claimed to have first spotted the beast snapped a photo of the bloated and decaying carcass baking in the sun. To make matters worse, the carcass was giving off a foul, pungent smell. It was notoriously shared around the internet moments after. Soon, it would fascinate and revolt the world. So, what exactly is this mysterious creature? To say the least, the speculations have run wild. Was it a pit bull defeated in a dogfight? A mutated lizard to the likes of Godzilla? A furry animal robbed of its coat as it struggled for life in the ocean's tumbling waves? Or maybe even a turtle without a shell? Many people are saying it's many things. Thinking it's a bird, a plane, maybe Superman? Everyone sees something different. No one is correct and to this day we still have no idea what it is that washed up on the beach. The carcass is too rotted and decomposed to get an accurate sample to determine its origin. Either way, good thing there was someone there to catch it on film. We have some strange things right here on Earth, and I'm not just talking about human behavior.